Sanctions never work. They've never worked. Uh, I've been studying them for 10, 15 years. I studied them in South Africa. They were not the reason for the downfall of apartheid. The only time a sanction ever worked was when the Americans sanctioned Britain during Suez uh, by cutting off our foreign exchange markets. Um, we immediately stopped. Uh, that is the only case um, uh, Nick Mulder in his great book on this subject could find for sanction, as a sanction having an effect. Sanctions depend upon uh, an assumption that by um, altering the terms of trade, altering the commercial life of a country, you affect its politics. Since the politics of the countries concerned are almost by definition ones we disagree with, um, we hate, we dislike, uh, they are in some sense uh, immune to the democratic forces of pressure from below. Almost by definition, a country that you sanction is not going to be susceptible to that sort of sanction, uh, nor are they. Um, if you want to find um, a, a really secure regime around the world, choose those we sanction. Cuba, uh, Afghanistan, uh, Myanmar, Venezuela, all these countries that we sanction over time, and we've got 30 sat countries at the moment under some form of Western sanction. Uh, whatever's happening to those countries, the, the, the regimes are not falling. Uh, the reason why this has come into prominence now is because of Russia. Uh, we've sanctioned a very big, serious economy rather than a tin pot one where we can hurt the poor, uh, feel good and not change the government. Uh, in the case of Russia, um, we have sanctioned a serious country that could hit back. It has hit back. It has arguably caused us more disruption and dislocation. Uh, three heads of state in the Western countries have had to have lost their um, lost office since sanctions were imposed. Putin is nowhere near losing office. The whole thing is an absurdity. Sanctions are about hurting, usually poor people, by rich people. Uh, they are an extremely regressive form of war, and it's a form of war. Um, they are an immoral thing, in my view. Um, you should not use uh, the, the, the starvation or the deprivation of poor people in the country, or, or for that matter, oligarchs in a country, um, as a way of trying to change someone else's government that you don't like. Um, you have, I have to say, to say to yourself anyway, uh, why is it our responsibility to change a government that we happen not to like? Um, but that's a separate issue, and we could discuss that later. But the fact is that you've got a weapon which sounds good, makes you feel good, uh, um, is, 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 lends itself to media rhetoric about devastating sanctions, destructive sanctions. We're ruining them. The fact is, it never happens that way. It has never happened that way, and it ought to stop. And I wish, if I can say one thing about my colleagues on the, on the platform, it'd be quite nice if think tanks sometimes grappled with this. I have been to think tanks at both their think tank um, um, meetings on sanctions, and they always discuss how much they hurt. They never discuss, do they work? To continue watching this video, click the link in the top left or in the description below. Or visit iai.tv for more debates and talks from the world's leading thinkers on today's biggest ideas.